All right, pause. I know what you guys are thinking, right? This is a classic top lane experience. The jungler and the mid laner always gotta bother the top laner, right? Unlucky. Moving on. I'm gonna proxy. And the mid laner is back. Of course he is. Welcome back. Okay. I know this looks like I'm inting, but I assure you, I'm not. We're going to fast forward. the game. Keep, keep fucking stalling their backs. Stall the backs. Stop the ports! Stop the ports! Stop the ports! Stop the ports! Arthia! Welcome back to another Shrine Breaker video. I'm going to show you how to end the game in... 16 minutes um, We're against Nasus here, so I'm showing you the VOD review just so I can kind of explain what's happening in the fog of war and Holy damn Got a first blood um, As you saw in the intro this guy mid lane as well as the support later on And the jungle were all in my lane, you know how it is with the top lane experience Everybody's gonna be coming to your lane, you know but, um, mainly, this video is going to be about the one thing that I don't have in my guide. I do have it in my guide, I just don't have a video clip for it. So this is going to be the perfect video where I can explain the art of proxy. So, what is proxy? Proxy is where you go behind the tower and you, you farm dominions. Similar to what the boss does. He goes back here, and then he goes back here. We're going to do all that good stuff. All while dealing with the enemy team uh, trying to kill me at the entire game. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you uh, how you go about it. And Nasus is one of those champions that is incredibly easy to proxy on. Now, the first thing you got to understand. Nasus, as a Nasus player, it doesn't... It doesn't matter whether you, you proxy or not, because he can just he can just farm and get his dodge. Like it doesn't matter. That's what he should be doing. But since mid and jungle are always trying to kill me, they're gonna blame him if he doesn't help, right? So that's necessarily what happens in this game, and this is exactly what I want him to do. I want him to stop farming and focus on me, and um, eventually. You're going to be able to get ahead, you're going to get your items that are going to help you clear even better, and you're just going to snowball from that point forward. Alright, so right about this time, the junglers are usually uh, done with their full clear, and they're going to be over here for the scuttle crab. So I know that, and I, I'm, I'm prepared for that. I see him, that's why I have uh, a wood there. And then I'm just gonna walk down and we're gonna take care of it. And I'm signaling to my jungler, but unfortunately he's taking a long way around. I don't know why. But here we go. And I'm pinging him, I'm like, what the hell are you doing? We take him out. And then we'll go ahead and take out uh, Nasus here. He did ghost. But I got ghosts as well, and I pick up a double kill. Did not see him there, his mid lane, you know, trying to kill me so he can uh, reset the spawn timer, I guess. But the thing is, like, it's so early in the game, so they're they're back alive already anyway, so I don't know what you're doing in my lane. You can fuck off. And if you can see my items here, which I gotta rearrange this. 
for some reason why it doesn't want to uh, fix that shit. I'm just going to do top lane or whatever. But you notice the item I have? I have Tiamat. So this is going to help you clear the wave instantly. You know, when you're versus a champion like this, you can easily do that. So he's doing some damage to me here. We're just going to back off. We're fine, though. We got our W. We got our E. We'll be all right. So we'll focus on um, pushing, this, pushing this wave. Almost. So he's, he's gonna go around. He's actually look like he's going back, but I don't know if he's actually going back or not. Mid lane, once again, coming up on me. <laughs> That's the thing about this champion, is this champion's invisible. So I try to fight here. So while that's happening... I, I play it good, but unfortunately, you know, the jungler comes up. You know, and, and, and the thing is, you gotta realize, is mid lane is wasting a lot of time. A lot of farm mid. And he got first blood, right? But he's not he's not here. Like he's losing a lot. Just coming top lane. And th this is the stuff that you got to you got to view as like a good thing instead of like being tilted and be like, "Ah, oh, I'm getting ganked again or whatever." But you got to understand like my team can pick up a dragon or, you know, take a couple plays and maybe, you know, turn the tables around from that first blood that mid lane you know, suffered from. So things like that you gotta be aware of. Like you can you can still help your team out simply by doing this stuff. Alright, so we're gonna shove this wave because we got Tiamat. And we don't we don't want him to stack. We wanna stay ahead of farm. If you look here, he's got we're, we're about even. He's actually a little ahead, but we're about even. But that's gonna change. So we're gonna hard push this wave. See, you know, they should be, you know, on the side of dragons. So I go ahead and go back here and proxy. I got a plate. Got an entire wave, and he's losing minions. See, he doesn't know what to do. He can't make up his mind. And then, of course, mid's here, which, you know, takes him away from the wave even more. So I'm wasting his time, and I'm, I'm wasting uh, NASA's time. So what you want to do is walk up to this wave. You're definitely going to die here, but it's worth it because he's losing everything at this tower. Boom. It's whatever. I know it looks like I'm inting, but I'm not. I promise you, I'm not. Alright, there's a strategy to this. And then I got 49, he's got 38. So that's going to keep growing. I just keep doing it over and over. And you can see here, I'm getting my items. I almost got Titanic. And my team managed to get the dragon, so life is good. And I signal this guy's going uh, towards them, but looks like my team's gonna die. It's whatever. So we do the same thing. We want to push this wave and proxy. And at this point, we can actually. Uh, what do you call double proxy or whatever? So basically, you take this and then you walk over here and then you you take this and then go back. Or you can, if nobody comes for you, you can take the the next wave if you want to. Alright, we're gonna take a plate. Boom. You can see here, the jungle is here. I don't know he's here, though. But it's whatever, you know. I'm keeping Nasus from farming. The focus on me. And 
If you look here, I managed to get a kill, and I also managed to get away, because I have ghost. <laughs> they got nothing out of that deal. <laughs> Nash is, is pinging the jungler. He, he's mad as hell. And this is the type of stuff you want to do. This is what you want to see. So I go back. And I have Titanic. While Nasus is still working on Trinity. And Trinity is an expensive item. So I got a lead here. Now, Titanic is pretty expensive too. But man the damage when I ult. With the increased health on my ult. Is going to feed this. And deal more damage during that time. And one active will clear the entire wave. Like it, it's such a good item. Alright all right, that's okay gonna take that that's fine but we're gonna we're gonna continue to do the same thing and it looks like he's distracted by his jungler and, and you know going down to help with this i don't care about that i like the grubbies don't get me wrong i love the grubbies but in this situation i have titanic i can take i can take place easily with titanic and and get an entire wave that's worth way more gold than you know picking up the grubbies plus nasus uh went back um, they don't have the help they need to get the grubbies, so that, you know, my team ends up getting them anyway, so it's fine. So here's what I'm talking about, double poxy. So we'll go behind this tower, and we're going to get this. And watch what happens here. Oh, he teleports. Never mind. But they're aware of it, but... This is probably the only time in the game that I was able to, to do this without anybody bothering me. <laughs> Which is great. Which is this is what you want. Kind of watching how uh, bot lane handles this gank. Oh, unfortunate. Hey, hey, maybe no. Okay. Oh. Alright. So he's going back. He's out of mana. I'm gonna hard shove this. I should be able to take tower here if he doesn't teleport. He teleports? Okay. So we'll be able to take play here. And then, uh, my, my minions can actually take this. Because we got the grubbies. And he's too focused on me, but watch what happens. I get the next wave and I still collect that tower. Look at all that gold. I got all of the place that's that's when you know you're living and then look at here the support down here now and then of course mid lane i don't know that yet i don't know that. i can't see them but i'm showing you so you can see you know how i play them so obviously i'm dead here but it doesn't matter because i get this wave and nasus is losing this entire wave so i'm just wasting as much time as i can here tried to take canyon but whatever and dragons up. Hopefully, uh, my team can capitalize on that. He doesn't know <laughs> that they took his shit. He's gonna walk in and find out. Alright, I teleport up here on the canyon. Always on the canyon. And he's going back because he has no mana. So we're just going to walk up, demolish the tower, and then get the next wave. And you can see here, mid lane still distracted. Bot lane uh, support is distracted. So we ghost out. And we get out. My team gets the dragon because he's left alone. So everybody's, you know, monkeying around with me in the top lane. So this is how you do your job as a top laner. I know it looks like, you know, I, I'm in 10. I'm o I only died three times. But like, you know. Look look how far ahead I am. I have 121 CS yeah, versus 84. Like, Nasus is missing so much. Mid lane is missing so much. Where's mid lane right here? Let's, let's get this right. You see, uh, yeah, see, now my mid lane is ahead now. Four kills, 
And he, he got a first blood. I don't know what he's doing. Alright, second item I'm going for... Is the, I, I Basically, I'm sitting on this. And I'm sitting on this. So I'm, bu I'm building a hole breaker right off the bat. When I'm this far ahead, I just go straight into hole breaker. And attack speed is going to help to get, get that uh, skipper passive off. And it's also really good with Titanic. So being able to get, shred those towers down, clear the way as fast as possible, and uh, all that. And I also got Recall Boot, which are really good. Especially when you're Foxy. You can get out before anyone touches you. I, I kind of wish I had that sooner. Alright, so here's the game change in play right here. That I show you. Alright, so when you're in this position where you get the Rift, and you have Titanic Hydra, this is the best way to end the game in about 15-16 minutes. If you take your team with the Rift, with Titanic, I mean, Hullbreaker would be even better. But this is this is all you need. And what you want to do is we're going to plow this into this tower. And then we're going to ult this tower because we want this tower to uh, do less damage to the Shelly. The Rift Herald, and then um, use the Shelly to hit this. The minions should uh, be up in time so the tower can focus on minions instead of the um, the Rift. And then, you know, all we have to do is take this out. And if the Rift's still alive, we'll be able to take out both of these towers as long as we have the Grubbies, which we do. The Grubbies and the minions are forward. So, unfortunately, we don't get a bit of special here because. I, I had to ult. That's just the nature of using the rip. Unless we push the wave up uh, and whatever. But um, the thing is, I don't want to waste any time. There's nobody here. It's just one person here. If I just let this, you know, this rift walk up like a damn turtle to the tower, it's, by then, you know, everybody's going to be here. So I would rather, you know, just, you know, ride that some bitch right into that. Here we go. Then we're gonna ult. Boom. Disable it. And take that out. See all those grubbies? That's what we want. And then you got the minions. So now the rift is healthy. Still alive. So we're gonna take this out. Bam! It's still alive. Look at this. It's insane. There we have. Boom. And finally died. <laughs> and that's how you end the game in 15, 16 minutes, guys. So now, you guys have a video content of how proxying can help everybody in, in on your team. Even though you're not a part of like team fights or doing anything for your laners, you're distracting the enemy, you're, you're wasting a lot of uh, gold on their end. Um, like mid lane had first blood, lost a lot of CS. Um, top lane, Nasus is supposed to be stacking, but he's distracted by his jungler and mid laner trying to kill me. So otherwise he's going to get flamed and he's missing a lot of CS. So this is the type of stuff that you want to do as a top laner. Arthias!